For most of our history, humans have been searching for some form of the fountain of youth, a magical body of water with the power to cure illness and reverse the aging process. But does it really exist? Sorry to disappoint, but probably not. Stories of the Fountain of Youth go back at least as far as the 5th century BC and the writings of the Greek historian Herodotus. Even Alexander the Great of Macedonia was said to have been looking for a river to turn back time when he conquered the Persian Empire. Flash forward to the Middle Ages, when Europeans believed that a ruler named Prester John presided over a far eastern kingdom that contained not only a fountain of youth, but a river of gold. But by far, the most famous searcher in history was the 16th century Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon. Leon joined Christopher Columbus in 1493 as part of the renowned explorer's second trip to the New World. While in the Caribbean, he may have heard rumors of a magic fountain and river said by local Taino Indians to lie somewhere north of Cuba, on an island known as Bimini. After colonizing Puerto Rico, Leon set sail for the coast of Florida in 1513, a voyage allegedly motivated by his search for Bimini and the Fountain of Youth. As the story goes, he landed near St. Augustine, where a statue of him now stands in the central square. The story about Leon's search for the Fountain of Youth may be a staple of popular history, but there's not much truth to it. Leon probably wasn't even looking for the mythical fountain on his journey to Florida. No document from the time, including letters written by Leon himself, mentions such a goal for this voyage. What he really wanted was to capture land and resources, especially gold, for Spain. And it seems likely that later Spanish writers made up the Fountain of Youth story after his death in order to portray him as foolish and gullible. That doesn't stop tens of thousands of visitors from visiting St. Augustine's Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park, a tourist attraction that has been open at least since 1901. So far though, no one has ever gotten any younger from exposure to the sulfur-smelling waters of its natural spring. Whether it's a magic anti-aging cream or a miracle cure, many people haven't given up searching for the equivalent of the Fountain of Youth. But if history is any guide, they'll be looking for a very long time.